Affinity Photo 2 has added a great feature to the layer effects. You can now add multiple entries in layer effects. So let's just go back right to the start. Any shape, of course other designs are available, but I'm gonna go with the ellipse. Create a circle and go down here to layers. You can find that in the view menu, studio and layers, and you can go to effects. They've changed the icon as well, which is very nice. Click there. And you'll notice you've got now a plus at the side of a number of them. Unfortunately, 3D, bevel and boss, outer glow for some weird reason, and Gaussian blur haven't got pluses. I don't know why. It would be great if you could add multiple bevels. I'm not certain why you can't. Also, no pattern overlay still. Love to see that. Also a plus for that. But the pluses are great. And I'm gonna show a couple of them. I'm not gonna show them all. This one works slightly odd. And I've created a background for a reason, because I can show you the background. So let's just go to the outline. And I can just activate it. And it's black by default. And I'm gonna put it to quite a large value, 37. Solid color, black, and outside. You can vary it, you can make it inside, etc., etc. But when you do that, you can click plus. So again, that duplicates it. So you've got another one that's 37 as well. And you can duplicate probably five, 10 times. I don't know if there's a limit, I haven't tried. Maybe there's a limit at some point. But what you can then do, the one that's on top, that's the key thing, is you can reduce the size down. So let's just reduce that. Now it's black still. So let's just change the color, make it blue. Now you can see what happens. You've got the there, this one at the top is blue. Now, if I change the blend mode, you would think it would interact with the black around the edge, the other ones below. It doesn't work like that. It does work like that with gradients, but not with outline. And that's why I've got the gradient behind it. Because if I change the normal blend mode and run through it, it interacts with the blend mode of the background, not the other stroke. Doesn't see it. Doesn't seem in this case anyway. You may, if you mix around with inner and all those options, maybe there's combinations where it does, but for this one, it seems to just work with the interact with the background. So I just point that out. So I'm not gonna show blend modes particularly because here, normal, normal, I'm just gonna keep it that. But you've got the blue, I can click on this one and I can reduce size, I can click here. Again, I'm gonna go with green. And now you can see, because it's 27, you can see it obviously goes out from there all the way to 27 or 28. And again, you can of course go center, you can modify that, variety of different options or inside, and you can vary it there as well. So you can create all kinds of combinations of stroke and that's, or outline as it says here. Now I'm not gonna go any further with that, but you can see lots of options. You've got contour, gradient, etc. So you can add a gradient as well, which works well interacting again with the design behind. Weirdly, the other one here, gradient overlay, and I could do color overlay, etc. I could go through the other ones, but I'm just gonna go with gradient overlay. So I'm selecting that. That's just the default as was before. But now you can click plus and you can remove them as well. So if you click there, you can always delete them by just delete effect. So you can remove it, just click there. And you can delete that one as well if you wish. I'm just going to click plus. So I've got two, I could add three. So I've got three grazing overlays. This one's the top one. I can change blend mode, uh, not the blend mode, the type, elliptical. So I've got ellipse there, or radial. It's a pity that bitmap is not available. Also pattern overlay, but it would be lovely to have bitmap. I'm not certain why they didn't add that. But radial, and you can modify this, you can change the scale, Offset, so you can see there. But you can also click there and you can add some color. So I'm just gonna go for red. And this is just so you can see the various combinations. So you got that. Then go to this one. This one's below. You can't see it. Can't see it at the moment. So if I click here and I can use this one still, I can double click there. Let's go for blue. Just change it and double click. And let's go for green. And you can see you can build up some complex colors, but again, you still can't see it. 
but you can go back to the top level one, and this is the top level, the gradient overlay. This time, go for the blend modes, and you can see what happens if you go for difference. And that's blending with the layer below. So any change I make to that, if I change it to elliptical, it will change or change the scale. You can see then you can create a variety of different gradient combinations to create some really interesting layer effects. And you can do the same here. So again, you've got this one. Let's go for a different color. Let's go for yellows, just something different from the other one. And again, you still can't see it because this one is still normal. If I change that to blend mode of difference or any of the others, go for difference, you can now see the lower one. And then you can modify this. Change the scale Y, offset, and you can see you can create a variety. You can't interactively change, which is a pity. You don't have to change blend mode for this, unless you want to. Go for there, and you can see it does have an effect, but just, I'm gonna go with normal. It's just blending with the rest there. And you can remove them. If you decide you don't want that one, you can then just click there. And you can see it's gone. Now, I don't know if you can undo. No, unfortunately, there's no undo. So just be aware if you click, that's it, it's gone. You'd have to add it again. You can also move them up and down. So if you decide you want that one above that one, you can just go there. You can move them back and forth. And you can, of course, by doing that, it will change them. And you can do the same with this outline. You can move that up and down and so on. So move them up, move them down. So if that will be above the other one then I can put it below. So now it's below that one. That's it, it's quite useful. You can also scale as well. And once you're happy with it, click close. That's it. And you've now got this beautiful design, which of course you can then add to. Now I haven't done this yet and I might find it doesn't work. Let's just go to view and then go down here. Studio. You know what? That's another thing they've changed. <laughs> ah, okay. This is, shows you I'm doing this live in the sense that this is really about the first time I've tried to use it. They've changed it. Oh, that's going to confuse. That is going to confuse. Normally it was all in View Studio and you had all the various. Now they've gone with the same as Photoshop. They've put it in Window. Sensible, but it's just suddenly through me, just suddenly thinking, that's strange. <laughs> okay. So styles, that's what I was looking for. So you've got styles. So there's been a few changes in this version that I didn't realize, even when just, I've only got it about an hour ago, so it's the first time I've really explored it. Styles, you can go over here and you can add style from selection. And I'm assuming, let's add that style. And I'm just gonna move that now. And let's just go to another one, triangle tool and click there, and you've got the same. And I would assume if I go now to the effects, click there, with that one selected would help. Yes, you've got the gradient over. It does work it out, keeps all the gradient overlay, outline information there, all in your styles as well, which is useful. But again, you can, so you've got effects there and you can continue to modify it and add others as well as color overlays, etc. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. I will be adding additional tutorials about Affinity Photo 2 as I find out and understand the way things work because there's been a load of changes. It's gonna be an interesting exploration over the next few weeks and months, I'm certain, with this application. Hope you found it of interest. Thank you very much.